Hey guys, welcome to this video. Asif here and in this video we are going to talk about how to create an automation to send out automatic review requests. And by that I mean, let's imagine a use case where you have an account where you are nurturing all these leads and if you close someone for a service or a product sale, you want to send them uh, like a link where people will be able to go and then put a review whether it's a Google review, whether it's a Facebook review, mostly Google review, because we, if it's a local business or if it's mainly a home service based business, the business owner will definitely have a Google business profile. And we know how important it is to have legit reviews on the Google business profile. That's why it's really important for you in go high level to have something in place that will automatically ask new customers to leave a review. And we're going to look into that, how it's done. So let's say we have a leads pipeline in opportunities and we also want a client pipeline or maybe a customer pipeline. So let's say customer, uh, customers. So new customer and then we could say ask for review. So basically uh, people who have just become customer will be added to this pipeline stage maybe after 14 days or maybe after a month uh, we could ask them for a review so when they get asked for a review they get moved here and also we could say review you done enough okay cool save it i'm just giving you uh, like an example of how it will be done i'm not saying that in your customers pipeline these are the only stages you're gonna have you're gonna definitely have more than these stages but this is just to give you an example of how the review system can work for your business so what we want to do is let's say this person has become uh, like a client new customer so what i want to be able to do is i want to be able to drag this when he becomes a customer to one and then he gets automatically moved to customers and after 14 days i want to ask this person or this customer for leaving a review so that's what we are going to try to implement here so i'm going to say automation let's go to workflow create a workflow so let's start implementing this i'm going to say 12. i'm just naming all these workflows according to this uh, tutorial series so never mind you can name your workflow whatever you want client move to customers pipeline customers pipeline so what we are going to do is we're going to say opportunity status changed so this trigger will basically ch check if the status of an opportunity is changed a status could be open could be lost could be abandoned could be one so we are just checking in this pipeline leads in uh, moved to status so we are checking in the leads pipeline or the lead pipeline if any of the opportunity status is changed to one so if we drag some some uh, any tile to one this workflow starts working for that particular tile right so i will say remove opportunity so i'm removing from lead pipeline because because it's one right uh it's not a lead anymore so i'm removing this uh, this tile from the pipeline lead and then i'm creating or updating an opportunity to customers new customer and the name and giving it status is one now lead value will be let's say 2000 something depending on the business of course depending on how much potential value you, you think will be generated from this particular customer so that's done we are removing them from leads pipeline because they're one they're uh, now a customer we are creating a new tile in the customer pipeline and then maybe sending an email saying that uh, Uh, pleasure doing business with you thanks for being our customer you can change it according to how you need it uh, this email body will change depending on the business and like depending on how you actually want it to be viewed by the customer now we publish it and we save it now we create another workflow to to do like so we say 13 uh, ask for review after 14 days 
what this workflow will do is this will check if someone has been in the customer's pipeline for 14 days and if it's there for 14 days we know that this person became a customer 14 days ago now it's a it's a good time to ask this customer for leaving a review so we'll check stale opportunities say uh in pipeline customers in pipeline stage new customer so this person has been in the customer's pipeline in the new customer stage particularly uh, the duration is 14 so sale opportunity is 14 days uh, this customer has been in the new lease pipeline now we first of all we update the stage so now we move them to ask for review instead of keeping them in new customer right and we can still save one still assign the value to it you know uh, all sorts of stuff with it okay then we then add them to the review request so this is a new action we are uh, getting familiar with now so this is send a review request and we will say review type email and then wait and i'll explain this definitely uh, wait for one hour just name, change the name of it wait one hour and now again send review request sorry i can't type right send review request this time we are going to do sms and that's it publish it save it that's going to take care of the review management now if you want to configure what goes out as a review request you can configure it by clicking here so this is the go high level reputation management setting area so you can uh you can like configure this for uh your business what you need to do is you need to uh if you're doing it for your business you need to connect your google business profile if you're doing it for a client you need to ask the client to connect it to google business profile and then uh if you have access to his google business profile you can connect it uh, with this account if you want and then go through all the setting you can also uh you can also customize what goes out as an email for review request you can like do multiple review requests like if they haven't put a review you can ask like multiple times uh maybe twice or thrice uh you can see how many retries you can do how many days you want to wait until you send the next review request like you can also configure what goes out as an sms and all those stuff so make sure you configure this before you get the review workflow running because that's really important otherwise people are going to click and they're going to go nowhere so uh, you definitely don't want that to happen but in terms of setting up an automation that would be it uh, i'll cover uh, the reputation management system in a separate video uh, but hope this video was useful and i will see you in the next one thank you